Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here live on Facebook and YouTube to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness, regardless of the circumstance and situation in our world today. As I always say, beloved, Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you, even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Is not greater, is not mighty, my friends, that we have the privilege that God says He will never leave us, nor forsake us, even unto the end of the world. And this morning, my friends and beloved, I have the assurance that God is with me in this room this morning. Hallelujah. He says in His words, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee, and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. That's great, my friends. Welcome this morning. Those of you who listen to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, from church, on the street, with your phone, or right here, welcome this morning. God bless you richly. I trust the Lord that this day will be a blessing to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I know many are watching this morning for sick. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Times may change, circumstances may change, situations may change, laws may change, constitutions may change. But my friends and beloved, Jesus Christ never changes. He is still the healing God. He is the healer of our soul. And also, He is the healer of our body. My friends, He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. This morning in Jesus' name is not awesome. Hallelujah. It's not great and mighty. My friends, Jesus Christ says, My friends, that he is, he is able to perform the miraculous in your life. For the blood of Jesus, my friends, this morning is so efficacious and so powerful. The blood of Jesus is repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every book of darkness, every spirit of witchcraft. Oh, we are demonic forces, evil plights, generation of curse against your life are destroyed. Every spirit of oppression, depression, frustration, anxiety, every demonic spirit, every spirit that is affecting your sleep in the night, I break and destroy under the precious blood. My friends, many are watching if you're sick this morning. Whether you have cancer, whether you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, you have a heart problem, a leg problem, a kidney problem. What the case may be, my friends, if you if you have a broken arm or broken ribs. What the case may be this morning, if you have to go to for surgery, hallelujah, if you have to go for surgery, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, God can heal you before that surgery. But if not, then sometimes God bless doctors too. If you have to go through, God will be with you in that situation, I pray in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. My friends, you will not die, but you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny. Just trust God, you will not die because the thief committed, but for the steal to kill and destroy. When Christ comes, that he might have life and life more abundantly. God wants you to have abundant life. I prepare for that abundant life this morning. I feel a tremendous anointing, healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. I feel in my spirit. God has given me a healing anointing, and wherever you are this morning, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to the mountains, Be thou removed and cast henceforth into the sea, and it will be. If you have a little faith this morning, God will touch you and heal you right where you are, right now, I will. And will send for that healing anointing in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen, in your car, in your office, in church, on the street, in your phone. Right, are you ready to receive? Right now, be. Healing in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whom the Son set free is free in you. I feel free in my spirit that God has touched and healed many this morning. Happily, I see many have been healed and delivered and set free from all manner of sickness and pain and disease and infirmities and evil, my friends. That's a God we serve. But because of time, I will not have time to call out your sickness this morning. But right now, text me let me know that you will receive your healing this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. My friends, God says, draw nigh unto me, and I will draw nigh unto you. God wants us to give him our all his own. He wants us to give our life completely to him. He says, therefore, my brethren, 
Hallelujah. He wants us to surrender to Him, my friends. Hallelujah. He urges us to surrender to Him. Hallelujah. He says, He says, I we must surrender our lives to Him. And that's the way He's going to bless us, my friends. He says, when we surrender, it is just a reasonable service. It's just a reasonable service to surrender our lives to Him and let Him use us for His glory and honor. My friends, this morning, God wants to, you to draw near to Him. He wants you to return to Him and surrender your life to Him. Hallelujah. He says that this is your brother, by the mercies of God, that you present your body in a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Him, which is just a reasonable service. God is calling us to surrender. Many do not want to surrender to God. We are holding back. And that is why God cannot use us. And that is why God cannot bless us, my friends. And then he says, therefore, I want you dear for brothers. He says, I want you dear for brothers. Hallelujah. This morning. Thank you, Jesus, to present your body as a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice because of the favor of God, my friends. Give me to those, my friends, who place faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord. I urge you, I urge you, I beg of you, I plead with you this morning, I plead with you, my friends and beloved, hallelujah, to give all of you to all of him, hallelujah, give all of you to all of him, is that awesome, hallelujah, praise God, he's calling you to give him his all, give him, give him your all this morning. Are you ready on our phones and computers, my friends? This morning we have uh, passcodes. Is not so. Hallelujah. We have passcodes. These passcodes, my friends, gain you access to the world of information. Hallelujah. And then that sits in at our fingertips. Hallelujah. So much is available, my friends, to us this morning. So much is available to us uh, that uh, that when passcode is put in. When passcode is put in our phone or computers, uh, the world of the internet, uh, the world of the internet and all the things uh, attached to it uh, opens up, uh, it opens up uh, to us, uh, to you and to me, uh, my friends, uh, the passcode this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. When you when you're locked out of the access, when you're locked out of the access, my friends, so much is available. Hallelujah. But if there is a passcode, my friends, and beloved, hallelujah, you don't know it. You don't know it, my friends. What's available is not that beneficial. Are you getting this one? Is that is there you even put that can't use it, my friends? You you haven't been able to enter enter in. You have been able, my friends, hallelujah, to, to access what, what's available to you, hallelujah. Praise God, thank you, Jesus, in the kingdom of God, in the plan of God, and the program of God, there is, my friends, much to be accessed, hallelujah, much to be accessed regarding my, my life, my friends, regarding your life, hallelujah, and regarding God's plan, God's plan and purpose for you, hallelujah. But he has a passcode. I says he has a passcode for you and me. One of the reasons, my friend, why many of us, many of us confuse lives, confuse lives, my friends. We if we either don't do the passcode, my friends, or password, don't use it. So that the benefits, the benefits that are available to be accessed, the benefits that are available to be accessed are not accessed because the passcode or password has been ignored, hallelujah, rejected or unknown, I am following this one. Shikanama Santo Labele, one of the big questions that we all have with our, with our lives, my friends, is what God wants us to do, hallelujah, how does God wants us to do it, my friends, and how do we move forward, how do we move forward in this thing called life, life giving give all, my friends, the, the chaotic realities that we face. How do we, how do we navigate, how do we navigate our, our existence, hallelujah, my friends, how well there is a password, there is a password, or we call it password, if you know this password, and if you use this password, my friends, hallelujah, you will be pleasantly surprised, you will be pleasantly surprised what is available to you, hallelujah, what is available to you from the Lord God Almighty for your life. Are you following this one? Shikana Santo the password to which 
which I am referring, my friends, to which I would like to speak this morning about today, my friends, and our, and our, and our, our call to return to God is the password simply call, simply call surrender. Surrender to God, surrender to God, give Him your life completely. When you understand this code, when you understand this code that activated my friends in your life, when you understand this code that activated in your life, my life and our lives, we will gain access, we will gain access, my friends, to God at a whole another level, another level, my friends, hallelujah. Unfortunately, this morning, this is a code. This is a code. Don't like, my friends. Don't like or don't want. Hallelujah, my friends. And so it is often goes unutilized. Unutilized this morning, leaving us blocked out. Blocked out, my friends, of what is available. What is available to us when it comes to the things called living. Hallelujah. Are you following me, my friends, this morning? She can have a son to the way and that she can have been Paul the Apostle is one of the famous passages in scriptures, my friends and beloved. Talks about this hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2 tells us. Hallelujah. Verse 1 and 2 tells us. Hallelujah. He's speaking to Christians. He's speaking to Christians. He said in verse 1 of Romans chapter 12, therefore, therefore I urge you, urge you, burn. I urge you, burn. That includes sister. It includes sister when I speak about burning. I urge you, burn. I urge you, Christians. I urge you this morning. I beg of you to entreat you. I entreat you this morning. I'm crying out to you this morning. He speaks in intensive uh, to terminology because he really wants my friends uh, he wants uh, the saints in Rome and the saints my friends uh, hallelujah praise God in, in, he wants the saints in all the countries of the world to hear this uh, I urge you burn by the mercies of God by the mercies of God you present your body in living holy and sacrifice holy and sacrifice my friends hallelujah he says Christians he says Christians I want you to surrender I want you to surrender that is what I want you to give me all of you all of you my friends give all of you to God I want you to give all of you all of you all of you God surrendering surrendering is where you yield you yield my friends you Praise God, she now has sent to the Baba and the Rabbi Shikari in the every part before of all of you, of all of God, my friends. Hallelujah. Every part of God, he says that I urge you to do this. I urge you to do this, my friends. I urge you to do this. Why is he urging, urging you to do this? He says, my friends, uh, present your body a living sacrifice. Present your body a living sacrifice. Because whatever God is going to do, my friends, is with you, through you, hallelujah, are you getting it? He is going to do it in the content of your humanity, hallelujah. Praise God, thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name. He wants to speak to you. He's going to have to have access to your ears. Hallelujah. If he wants to deliver a thought to you, my friends, then he's going to have access to your mind. Are you getting this morning? He wants to have access to your mind. He wants to speak to you. Then he have, have, have access to your mouth. Hallelujah. If he is going to guide you, he has access to your feet. Hallelujah. Praise God to your feet, my friends. So in order, in order for God to do, hallelujah, to, to do with you, my friends and beloved, what is needed to be done, he must have, he must have access, which means that the code must be punched, a punch of surrender. Are you following me? There you present your body a living sacrifice, a living sacrifice, my friends. God wants you to present your body a living sacrifice. He says, now the reason you should be motivated to do this, my friends, he says, is the mercies of God, is the mercies of God. He says, I urge you to burn, I urge you to burn by the mercies of God. 
forward by the mercies of God, by the compassionate, by the compassionate fever, fever towards us, my friends, should be motivating, should be a motivating factor, motivating factor of the surrender, the surrender, my friends, he, he, he spent, he spent 11 chapters talking about me, me, the mercies of God before I ever get to chapter 12 this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. I taught uh, chapter 3. He says, my friends, what he says, uh, the whole world needs uh, mercy because the whole world is guilty before a holy God. Hallelujah. That, uh, that God can dumb down his standards in order to meet our needs. He must get his standards. He must get the standards. The same and so all have uh, sin and fall short of the glory. According to Romans chapter 3, verse 23, he comes in chapter 4 and he says, But God has come up with a way, hallelujah, to provide the righteousness. He, he that uh, demands part from the works, from the works by faith in Jesus Christ, my friends and beloved. He says, Not uh, to the one who works, my friends, uh, is, is uh, the reward given, but to the one who believes, uh, believes on him, on him. It is uh, your faith. Christ this morning. Is your faith in Christ that gains you to, to the righteous standard, to the righteous standard that God demands this morning? That God demands it. in chapter 5, he says, my friends, he says in chapter 5, having placed faith in Christ, you have access to a whole new world. You have access to a whole new world, no world of grace, where during the tough time of God is there, it is, it is to sustain you. Hallelujah. In chapter 6, he says, he, he, this gives you a whole new identity because you were buried with him in baptism. You were raised to a new life and you are to look at yourself through new eyes this morning. Hallelujah. He comes in chapter 7, my friends, and says, what does it not mean you will not struggle? That does not mean you will not struggle. He says they will be struggle with old and new battling against the new for control of you, which leads him to chapter 8. Hallelujah. In chapter 8, he says, that's why God has given us the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So that the Holy Spirit can override the flesh. So that you can live out the new life that God has provided you at, at salvation, my friends and beloved. He comes in chapter 9 to 12. Hallelujah. And the question is this morning, is where is this? Is so godly. Why doesn't Israel, God, people in flesh, in the flesh, have it? And he says they don't have it because they don't believe. And we don't believe if you don't get it. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then he says, therefore, I urge you, therefore, brother. I urge you, therefore, brother, to present your body a living sacrifice, a living sacrifice because of the factor of God, because of the factor of God given to those who place in Jesus, hallelujah. I urge you, I beg of you this morning, you, I plead with you, my friends, hallelujah. Praise God, thank you, Jesus, to give all of you to God, give all of you to Him, hallelujah, give all of you to Him, my friends, because, because your humanity, because your humanity, my friends, will be a mechanism through which uh, that God has to do, hallelujah. He, will make manifest, but he must have access to it. He must have access to it, my friends. Hallelujah. He must have access to it. He says, now, the way you make this presentation this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shikana Masanto, the name of God, Shikana, is by completely surrender. Present your body. <coughs> Present your body in living and holy, living and holy sacrifice. Living and holy sacrifice, this surrender is all you of you. It's not uh, like the story of the chicken and the pig. Walking down the street one day and they came across a grocery store. And then said that the big thing that said bigger and desperately needed. Chicken look at the pig and, and the pig look at the chicken and the chicken said, you know, the grocery needs some bacon and egg, but go to we have grocery out and give him some, some eggs and pig, you give him the bacon. The pig looked at the chicken and said, what uh, to be out of your mind? You got to be out of your mind. The chicken says, well, uh, what was the problem? He said, the problem is I can't give him, the, I can give him egg, but you can't, you can, I can't give him the bacon. That's me, I'm giving my everything, contributing everything. It's all of me. It's all of me and fish. You see a lot of folks 
wanted to eat. Give God an egg here, give God an egg here, give God an egg everywhere. My friends, an egg, an egg. God wants some pork chops to handle. He wants some ham, hallelujah. He wants the whole thing. He wants the whole of you. Are you ready? He says, present yourself a living sacrifice, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him. Now that uh, contradictory per purpose is one. But that phrase is contradiction, my friends. My friends, present yourself alive. Living, my friends, but present, present, present yourself a sacrifice, dead sacrifice, or kill. And you put sacrifice on the altar. When Christ was a sacrifice, he died on the cross. He sacrificed or killed. He says, present your body, present your body as a living, dead doing a living sacrifice. How can you be a living and living and dead at the same time? You ask that question. Perhaps Paul can help us here, my friends, this morning. The great scripture where he says in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, I am crucified with Christ. I am dead. I am dead. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Nevertheless, I live. I am alive. I am alive, yet not I. Yet not I, because I am dead. In Christ who lives in me, who lives in me, so I am alive. Well, now are you going to Paul? Well, he says in Galatians 2.20, the life which I now live, the life which I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So if Paul was standing here today and you were at to ask Paul, what are you planning? What are your plans? Paul would say, I have Paul would say, I don't have it until God is in me. And if Paul was here, he would say, Well, you are, what are your goals? He would say, I'm waiting to get instructions from the Lord. So I know that my goals are to be put in another way. It means dying to self, dying to self and living to him. Hallelujah. Dying to self and living to him, choosing him over you, choosing him over you. It is saying no to you when you contradict him. He wants you to be a walking, a walking dead thing. You see, Pastor, what you say, alive to him. I say, alive to him, dead to you. When he contradicts him, when he contradicts him, my friends, he says, present your body in living. Sacrifice, present your body a living sacrifice. He also says, Present holy, present holy. Hallelujah. My friends, the word holy is a little different in this one. The word righteousness, righteous, righteous has to do with the standard of right and wrong. Are you following this one? So it's, it's, it's sin versus what is not sinful. That, that, and that's righteous. Hallelujah. Are you following me? Holy is unique. It's a unique term. It, it, is, uh, it, it is a defining term, my friends, of God. God is never called love, love, love. True, true, truth. Hallelujah. Righteous, righteous, righteous. But he is called holy, 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 holy to the third power. It is, my friends, it is, it is, a, it is a, a comp comprehensive statement, did you get that this morning, about the uniqueness of God. Hallelujah. The word holy means, my friends, to be set apart, to be set apart as unique, to be set apart as unique. There is only one, there is only one whole book in the Bible that deals with the holiness of God. It doesn't get a lot of attention because of, of, of us, my friends, some ceremonial emphasis that the book of Leviticus, my friends, the holiness of God is emphasized. God put up another transgressing sign. Hallelujah. What he says, I could not trample on his holiness, not trample upon his holiness. And three concepts are there that help us to understand holiness this morning. Hallelujah. So the holiness of God, why it includes the righteous standard of God, refers to the uniqueness, my friends, of God, the uniqueness of God for which he is to be held. Hallelujah. Praise God, he says, I beg you, brethren, to give of all of you to him. Give all of you to him this morning to surrender yourself, to surrender yourself, to give yourself to God this morning. Hallelujah. 
She can understand to the Lord and the Rabash girl in the day. Then he says, This is your spiritual, this is your spiritual service of worship. That is how the new uh, American standard says it. You have a king, James Virgin, it says, which is your reasonable service. But the Greek word here is a worship tour. Is a worship tour, my friends. He says, Your spiritual service of worship. It is your total surrender, not your church attendance. Did you get that? Not your church attendance. I you here this morning. So you will be in church, but not worshiping because you aren't surrender. Did you get that? That's deep this morning. Without uh, the surrender, there is not uh, the worship. Hallelujah. Are you hearing, my friends? Uh, so, unless uh, there is a willingness of yielding all of me, or all of me to Him, hallelujah, my friends, uh, then you can wave your hand in the air like just uh, the care, my friends, uh, not worshiping. Hallelujah. You can shout, uh, you can sing, my friends. Hallelujah. You can speak the word. You can, you can can say amen, hallelujah, but it's not worship, it's not my friends, include my friends this morning, surrender. <coughs> he calls that your spiritual service of worship, hallelujah. My friends and beloved this morning, hallelujah, we need to understand what God is telling us. Then he comes in verse 2 and he says, but then, uh, and he says, be not conformed to this world. We explain that this is referring to what a potter does with clay, my friends. And what does a potter does with clay? He condemns it into an image, squeeze it to make a plate, squeeze it, make a cup, squeeze it to make a, a slicer, my friends. And in other words, he shapes it, he shapes it, he, 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 and, 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 and it conforms it in what he does to do that. It's applied pressure, applied pressure to it. Hallelujah. Pressure, my friends, to conform into the shape he wants it to be. And you live and I live in a world that is trying to pressure us, to pressure us, my friends, to conform to his values. Hallelujah. To conform to his values. I'm trying to squeeze us this morning, to squeeze us, to accept the world views. The world views in its time, trying to press us. Press us to walk away from what God says. Hallelujah. That operates on that, on that uh, as society says. It is trying to force us, my friends, uh, to force us to uh, drop the truth of God, to drop the truth of God for the life of culture. And you hear at all the time, and you hear Christians uh, craving into the pressure, caving into the pressure because they don't want to be cancelled. Hallelujah. You hear people, Christians, my friends, uh, who name the name of God, who name the name of God, came into the pressure because, my friends, uh, they don't want to be rejected. Hallelujah. Because uh, they demand to be accepted. Hallelujah. By this uh, world system. Not knowing, my friends, that God says, if, if you accept the world, you lose me. Lose me. Hallelujah. You lose me, God says. She can have a santo He says, do not be conformed. Do not be conformed. Pressure, pressure to adapt, to adapt the value system. The value system leaves me and my my world view, he says, out of leave me and my world view out of. Don't allow the system, don't allow the system to kick me to the curb. Hallelujah. In your value system, my friends. What he says, uh, you see it all around us today, my friends, uh, hallelujah, where the rules have changed, the rules have changed and rapid speed, and they want uh, to make you accept, uh, they want to make you accept it, hallelujah. Praise God, they've changed education, they've changed in the media, my friends, uh, they've changed in corporations, hallelujah, praise God, thank you, Jesus, uh, they've changed in, in Disneyland. Hallelujah. They change in so many different ways and they want to force you and their, their children and your, your children and your, your youth and all in this conforming thing and you know my friends how you feel when your child comes home and say one thing and then they say my friends say 
Pardon me, my friend said this, that, and that, and you don't care what your friend says. I'm your mom, I'm your mom, I'm your dad, and we are well when God hears what the word is doing to us. He says, I don't care what your friend say, hallelujah. I don't care what they say out there, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, I'm your God. I am your God. He says, I am your God. I am your God. She kind of has something. But we are being a squeeze and pressure and pressure to adopt their value system. And I want my friends, you I need you to know this this morning. My friends, post-modern age, post-modern age, the pressure is going to keep coming. The pressure is going to keep coming. Hallelujah. And my friends, and that, that, that why we have to fight spiritually. We have to fight spiritually because you're going to it's going to press you to adopt a system of values, of values that leave God value system out. My friends, He says, be not conformed to this world, Hallelujah, and don't let this world system, Hallelujah, determine your value system, Hallelujah. Are you following this morning? But let the value system be determined, my friends and beloved. Hallelujah. Praise God. Definitely, definitely, my friends, and distinctly. It tells you how he says, my friends, what he says. But he transformed, he transformed by the renewing of your mind. By the renewing of your mind. Hallelujah. First thing he says is give God all of you. Second thing he says is give the world none of you. Do not be conformed when he says be transformed. That's a different word. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The word that was my friends tells us this morning. It's a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. Metaphor he said, we transform, transform, conform is outside pressure. Hallelujah. Transform, my friends, is change within. Within, my friends, within. Hallelujah. The butterfly is embodied in the caterpillar. Becomes a uh, caprice, my friends. Uh, what it says, uh, and then a cocoon. A cocoon, a cocoon. And then it emerges. It emerges, my friends. Uh, it emerges. The, 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 the season while we are having emerging, changing on the outside is that we are not being transformed on the inside. And the reason we are not being transformed in the inside is because, my friends, the world is conforming us. The world is conforming us and we haven't surrendered. One surrendering takes place, my friends. Hallelujah. Praise God. And you say no to the value system of the world. Hallelujah. The word transform in the Greek is positive. A passive God takes over and he begins a transformation process. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is a story about a man named Jed and a poor mountain really my friends fell over and while he was shoot, shooting for some food and up from the ground came a bubbling crude oil that is in Texas tea. My friends, you know the story well. We all watch the movies. Jed and Champion. My friends, Jed, what do we see? Beverly Hills, Emily Mayer. Jethro. We know what Jethro and, and, and my wife is watching. You remember the story, my friends. We, we, we watch a movie, make up a family known as the Beverly Hill Village. The Beverly Hill Village. These uh, hillbillies were from the hills of Tennessee. From Tennessee, they struck oil. They struck oil and became multi mountain billionaires. Hallelujah. Praise God. They became very rich. They relocated, they relocated themselves to Beverly Hills. We all see the TV series, but the thing that made the program so, my friends, so funny this morning was they thought that they brought Tennessee values with them. They brought the Tennessee value with them. Hallelujah. Praise God. So they were in a new world, but uh, operating the old values. And we you know what uh, that made them a joke and a laughing stock. It made them a joke, my friends, because even though they were now wealthy, even though they were now wealthy with new resources, they were operating from an old world view. They were operating from an old world view. And Mr. Dyer's bright days, as much as he wanted to make life better for him, wouldn't become the 
Genesis would not let go of how they were raised Calvary. They would let go of that and they were would let, would, would let go of what they had become accustomed to, accustomed to, and one of the reasons we're not processing it, we were still tied into how we were raised, is not so. We still tied into the secular viewpoints of our secular education. Hallelujah. My friends, our non-Christian perspective of what the media is trying to force down into the truth. Hallelujah. And because we are buying into that, my friends, we may be belong to the kingdom of God, but we brought the kingdom of hell with us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of God. And I speak to, to people today this morning. And therefore, I'm not taking advantage of all that God has for us. Hallelujah. Because of our refusal to surrender. He says, my friends, this is a transformation. This is a transformation of the mind. A transformation of the mind, my friends. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A transformation of the mind. What God began to do. Hallelujah. Praise God as you take the truth of his word. As you take the truth of his word. Having surrendered the life, my friends. Having said no to the values that discard God. Hallelujah. And his truth this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Is he, he will begin to reshape. I say he will begin to reshape. Reshape, my friends. He will begin to reshape the recording. He, and record and the thinking. Record your thinking because you are now bringing your thoughts in line with Him. Hallelujah. With Him this morning. He will not allow that, my friends, to join it within you, to join it within you if He has to complete with the values of the world that you embrace. Hallelujah. Praise God, thank you, Jesus. But he says, I will transform your mind. I will transform your mind to bring my thinking, to bring my thinking in your thinking, so that my thoughts become your thoughts. Hallelujah. Praise God. You see that when, when God is talking, think over. When he's thinking, you are thinking. At the same time, he's thinking. Hallelujah. Praise God. So your framework is beginning to shift. Hallelujah. And the butterfly within you is beginning to beginning to form. Hallelujah. To form my friends. Hallelujah. Praise God because he's now he now has full access to you. Because you fully surrender. Yes to him, not to the world. Hallelujah. And in that so at this point can reshape the thoughts and, and you know my friends. Hallelujah. A believer is not, a believer is not conformed to God, but conformed to the world because they will reject what God says in favor of what the world says. Or in favor of how they raise, or in favor of what they think this morning. And even though you show them clearly what God says. Hallelujah. What God says, when the question is, well, what the paid offer for this is, is that if it goes this way, if it go, my friends, that route, there will be a pay offer. What's the benefit, he tells you in verse 2? So that you may prove what is the will of God is, that which is good, acceptable, and perfect. Hallelujah. Guess what the payoff is, my friends? The payoff is the will of God. The will of God for your life. The will of God for you and me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So watch this now. Watch this this morning, my friends and beloved. God has a will, a plan, a purpose for my life. For my life, my friends. When you accept Christ, you have now entered into the plan. Into the plan, my friends. That plan covers every detail of your life, of your existence. From the time of your conversion to the time of your death. Or rather the rapture, my friends. Hallelujah. He has a will. He has a will, my friends. To deviate from the will because of our own carnality, our own selfishness. But, uh, but we got on track uh, when we got on track through submitting to God and saying no to the world. Hallelujah. There is a transformation.
transformation of thinking that takes place now. And you will prove what is the will of God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. He says you will prove what the will of God is. Hallelujah. What the will of God is. Now let me give you the good news this morning. The good news is if you give God all of you, give the world none of you because reward is your taking and you won't have to find God's will. God will, will, will find you and me. God's will will find you, my friends and beloved. He will, he will say, you will prove. That means you will see, hallelujah, unfolding, hallelujah. Praise God, you will see working out the will of God because he's he going he to help you. Hallelujah. Verse Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. The Lord always acknowledges him and he will direct your path. He is the, his proving guidance through situation, circumstances, people to eat through problems. He begins to, to steer things and iterate things, my friends. Then he says, perfect, hallelujah. It means, my friends, this morning it will complete its goal. It will complete its goal. Its goal, my friends and beloved. If you want, to, if you don't want to live in a complete life, Hallelujah. He says, operate in the will of God and do what uh, by giving God all of you, giving the world none of you. If you want to operate, and let uh, God shift your thinking in His value system this morning. And then he feels comfortable to govern, guide, direct, correct, my friends, change, tweak, my friends, hallelujah. And the beautiful thing about it, my friends, is this morning. You can make that decision, my friends and beloved, Shikanama Santo Lamayande. Now we don't have to continue to live, my friends, in uncertainty, hallelujah, with regard to what God is doing and not because we know it all, but because we know he's going to shape our thinking, hallelujah, and bring his thoughts into our thoughts, and so that our thoughts are his thoughts, so that we know now how to think in terms of his will, hallelujah. Praise God, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name, one of the greatest concept experience of life is seeing God change your mind. Seeing God change your mind. Uh, you were thinking about going one direction and he said, uh, go, go thinking, go oh, my friends, that you think differently about that thing, about the job, that career, my friends, hallelujah, and that, that move that you want to make. I mean, my friends, or reinforce your mind about something, it's very enters into your thought hallelujah. It talk into your thought process through a very or different way, hallelujah. My friends, in order to guide you, my friends, hallelujah, according to his will, according to his will, his plan and his purpose. Are you ready this morning for so to surrender to him? He wants your all, hallelujah. I beseech you, brother, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. And you will see what God will do with your life. Are you ready, my friends? Be repeated, my friends, and surrender to God and let his will be done in your life and see what God will shape you and make you the person he wants you to be. God bless you richly. My friends, it has been a great joy and a privilege this morning to be here to minister the word of God. I do love you in the love of God this morning. Do have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of the day. God bless you richly. In Jesus' precious, gracious.